Toronto Maple Leafs resolved their coaching situation by naming St. Catharines head coach John Brophy as their new man. Joining me now is John Brophy. In fact, we dragged him off the golf course. And John, first of all, I got to know, were you expecting this or what, did it come as a total surprise? Well, Jerry, it came as a total surprise. Uh, uh, matter of fact, we had just moved the club up to Newmarket and uh, where I was playing golf that day. I put uh, with the city council and some people and uh, somebody came up to me and told me that uh, Dan Maloney had quit and uh, it was certainly a surprise to me because I thought everything was, uh, was okay as far as Danny's concerned. Has this forced you into some last-minute preparation? I, I would think that you would have been prepared for, for Newmarket this year. Well, we were all set. I was all set there. I was general manager and coach of the hockey club, and, and uh, uh, I'm still working up there every day, so uh, it was a surprise. And, and uh, uh, a couple of days later, uh, Jerry McLemore told me I was in the running for the, for the job, but uh, uh, it was just left at that, and uh, uh, I had to go. Uh, Jerry and myself had to go down to Hilton Head Island in the American League meetings, and, and uh, it was announced down there that I had the job. Harold Ballard likes to have his hands into his operation. Are you prepared to deal with him in that regard? Well, all I can say about that is that uh, I was a year and a half there as assistant coach, and, and uh, I never seen Mr. Ballard around very much at all. And if he had dealt uh, with the hockey club, it must have been, uh, obviously it was, I didn't know anything about it, and uh, uh, I've never seen him do, uh, do very much as far as uh, uh, the running of the hockey club at all. Okay, now rightly or wrongly, you have been a, a man that has gained a reputation as being not only tough but downright cruel. How do you react <laughs> to that kind of criticism? Well, I've heard some stories like this. I, I don't believe that if I was downright cruel or if I was tough that uh, uh, I would have very much respect for many players that played for me. And, and uh, um, You do have to win. It doesn't matter what level. And, and uh, uh, Especially when you're in the American League and players under you that are, are being developed, you have to uh, stay on them a little bit and, and uh, make them or try to make them get better. But uh, I, I don't believe them downright cruel. I wouldn't last very long, and I'm certainly uh, no tougher than any other coach. Now, obviously, you want the team to be a winning team, but what will be the identity of the Toronto Maple Leafs this year? Well, the, the, first of all, what I see about the club is that it's a very young hockey club uh, and, and a, a, I think a, a talented hockey team, and, and uh, uh, I think we should have a good skating club. Uh, I know we will, and I think we'll have a, an aggressive hockey team. That's what uh, I guess everybody tries to get off their team. but. Uh, I think first the talent will show and then probably will be an aggressive hockey club. Will it be a defensive-minded hockey club? The Leafs have given up a lot of goals the last couple of years. I would years. say they'll be more defensive-minded than uh, the last couple of years, but uh, uh, you do have, uh, when you do have young players, uh, they're obviously able to play offense or they wouldn't be drafted as high or play as well as they do, so uh, you don't want to ever take their offensive part away from the game, but you try to, uh, as they get older, try to maybe get a little more discipline and uh, play their position a little bit better, and, and that comes from maturity, and I think uh, um, they will be a more defensive-minded hockey club. Okay. Thank you, John, and good luck with the Leafs.